up everybody it's eric i'm back in the model studio this time i want to give you a grand reveal of my Revell uh vw type 2 bus build this thing was a whole lot of fun i have a real bus it's a 1971 which i'll throw up a picture of it real quick i didn't want to do a complete replica of mine because it's not the right year i believe this is a, about a 77 ish and mine is a 71 so there is some differences but i want to do something a little bit similar this is 109 parts um it just again it went together really nice the doors open the side door opens it's just something kind of different from a standard model kit and there's a lot of opportunities to really bring out some really cool detail this is Revell's easy click system which is really cool on this kit so you don't have to worry about any gluing uh, of any parts everything just fits together really nice so here's a quick shot of mine this thing turned out so cool <laughs> really pleased with it um, I kind of spin it around here I'll, I'll put up a slideshow at the end of the video to show the build of this thing uh, from start to finish it's got some nice faded paint on it, some rusty drips. Get this nice weathered look. I used the salt method once again like I did on my rust duster. If you guys haven't seen that video, check that thing out. I'll put a link in the description. That car was a whole lot of fun to build, the AMT 71 duster. But anyway, so I used the um, 2X primer, flat red. Um, I painted the whole bus with that. Then I taped off the top. I, did the, I was going to do the bottom green first. So once that primer dried, I sprayed it with some water. I sprinkled down where you see the rust with some salt, let that dry, then I sprayed it with the body color, which on this I used the Rust-Oleum 2X Satin Leafy Green, which was a perfect color, which I already had this paint, so it worked out perfect for what I wanted. And then uh, once that dried, I went ahead and scraped off the salt, and then I taped off the bottom, I did the same thing on the top, and then once that dried, um, I scraped off all the salt on that, and then I went in, uh, I used some sandpaper, kind of sanded it down, to wear the paint down, bring out the rust a little bit more in certain areas on some of the body lines, and then use these uh, Tamiya weathering kits to uh, bring out even more effects on the lighter rust uh, drips and stuff, especially along the gutter right here and up here along the top to bring out just that uh, different tones of rust is what gives it that realistic look in my opinion. I also use this uh, kit right here, the weathering master kit. Uh, I use the snow color to uh, bring out some faded paint on the side as you can see right there where there's just like little streaks going down and also this uh, soot color in this kit to just bring out some some dirty streaks and also some some more rust so uh, I mean anything you can do to bring out any uh, tones and, and textures and stuff like that is what gives it that nice that nice realistic look then after that I used the Tamiya panel liner right here uh, black to bring out the panel lines in certain areas and also the front grill right there I just they just filled in perfect it does come with a decal for that but I figured it looked a little more realistic to uh, just use the panel liner also use that on all the body lines like in the back back there and also inside the little vent uh, to give it more of a 3d look where it looks open because these are air cooled so you want that air to be able to flow through these windows do click right in really nice I did take and use a, a sharpie black sharpie marker to go around the edges of the windows to make that nice rubber trim just for that extra added detail quick shot of the bottom of it got them uh, rusty heater boxes right there just like mine has in real life <laughs> got the rusted muffler and uh, I used a, a little bit of dry brushing with a testers enamel rust color to get the effect on the heater boxes right there and then went over it again with the weathering kit to bring out some different tones of rust to get these cool rust effects on these little chrome parts, these little small chrome parts, I just basically covered them with some quick shine to get make kind of a sticky surface and then use this uh, Tamiya weathering kit again. I just kind of scraped up some of that orange rust color and then used a toothpick and just kind of dabbed it on there a little bit and then let it kind of drip down and make some blotchy rust spots. And then I used the testers enamel rust and dabbed on there to get that texture. I did the same effects on the rear view mirrors, the headlight chrome rings right there and the front emblem. To get the nice weathered look on the interior, I just uh, I hand painted the seats with a Tamiya flat tan color and then went over it with a wash of uh, NATO black and brown to kind of bring out some dirt and some wear marks along the seats right there. It just <laughs> gives it a real nice uh, realistic look. Just have the spare tire sitting in the back. You can do the spare tire either in the back or on the front, but I wanted to put the emblem up there, so I decided to do it that way. But I'll try to get a shot of the interior Again, you'll be able to see it in the slideshow, but you can see them dirtied seats and, and dirtied up the, the uh, door panels. 
Here's a quick shot of the engine. I did go in and add as many details as I could. I also added plug wires in here. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see it in the slideshow. I popped open this driver's side door so you can see how this kit does have opening doors. It's really sweet so you can see inside that nice interior. But anyway, this thing was so much fun to build. Had a blast with it. I uh, can't wait to get started on the next kit. Got some things in the works if you guys want to follow along. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, enjoy the slideshow. We'll see you next time.